welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. So I have another vegan empties for you guys. It does not take long. I'm not even kidding. Like it's crazy how fast this accumulates. And I'm over here like, oh, I eat really clean. Girl, come on. <laughs> but you know what? It is what it is, and I love sharing my empties with you guys, so we will get into it. I will link the playlist that I have for the previous ones that I've already done. I think we're on, like, number 18. It's kind of insane. It really is, <laughs> but it's what we do here. So, and again, let me apologize in advance. My voice may be a little cracky throughout this. I'm still getting over being sick. I do apologize for that. But this video will wrap up this week, and I thank you guys again for being so kind. And I'm really just going to spend the rest of this weekend healing up, so that way I'm ready to go for next week. But I'll still have a vlog up, for sure. But let's get into it. So first item I have this week is this Daya Mac and Cheese. This is the Cheesy Mac, the Cheddar Style Veggie. And guys, these are not bad at all. And when I say that because there's multiple flavors, in fact... Here's the other one. I have also an Alfredo one. I think I included that in the last one. They are all delicious. They really, really are. If I had to pick a favorite now that I've had all three, I would probably say the Alfredo. Well, I, you know, <laughs> the Cheesy Mac one and the Alfredo are amazing. They really are, especially for the Daya brand. I'm super, super impressed. Now, the one with the veggies in it, it's good, but I don't love the consistency of the veggies that are in it. They're a little bit crunchy, and it's not that they're bad, though. It's just kind of like, oh, soft noodles and this, like, crunchy little veggie out of nowhere almost, but it is good, good flavor for sure. I would totally get these again. They're not the best for you, but they are a great little cheat meal and you know when you want that mac and cheese there you go <laughs> and real quick too if any of you have tried any of these things please comment below and let me know what you guys think of them too if you agree with me or you had a different experience with the product let us all know so next item is the just brand and this is the just thousand island now i did not personally get this for myself as i'm really not a big thousand island fan to be honest but I bought this for my dad who does not eat vegan and I had this here for a while and for when they would come and have, we'd have salad or whatever he would always want his Thousand Island and he really really liked this he didn't think it tasted any different actually which is pretty telling because he is not vegan <laughs> so I definitely wanted to include this for you guys I will say I've had the Just Ranch delicious it's one of the best in my opinion for store-bought for sure. So I wasn't shocked to hear that about this one, but I can't personally say I've tried it. This item I wanted to include is the thyroid vitamin that I am taking. I finished up finally one of them and I've already got a backup going. This is the Now brand. Guys, below I have linked all of the vitamins that I am taking so you can click on exactly where I purchased this from through Amazon. You know, vitamins I feel like are kind of a hard one to really speak to as far as like, oh, it works for me and it does this for me. I mean, how do we really know, right? How do we know? But I will say I've been taking this without fail or trying very hard. I've missed a few days here and there, but for the most part, I'm taking two a day, like it says, and I'm happy with it. I take a probiotic as well, same brand, and again, linked below. This was originally recommended to me by High Carb Hannah here on YouTube when I did the Lean and Clean uh, guide that she released as an ebook. It really recommended that we do a thyroid energy and a probiotic. And so I did exactly the one she recommended, and I've been happy with it and they are vegan as well for the uh, vitamins and all of this really is though is that it supports healthy thyroid function it, if you have a thyroid issue it's not gonna fix that for you all it's really doing is promoting a healthy functioning thyroid that hopefully is already working for you anyway just assist that and it also supports healthy metabolism which again when you're dealing with weight that's something we do want to be working at its prime so it's just cool to actually have a vitamin that goes and targets those things so i really like it and i'm going to continue to take it so you guys know <laughs> we are on a zevia zevia kick oh my goodness and i think i included the root beer one or a different flavor oh, the dr pet zevia one which is supposed to be like the dr pepper one last time well i've been saving the other flavors for you guys just so I could speak to them very quickly 
because we love them all. We really do. This month, I actually have a cream soda one, which I have to be honest, I have not had this one because I'm not a big cream soda person anyway, but Nate has and he loves them. He says they're very close to the real thing. So this one was approved. The Mountain Zevia, which is supposed to be like Mountain Dew, I thought was really good. Now, I have to be honest, I haven't had a real Mountain Dew in years, years. And Nate says it doesn't taste like a Mountain Dew, but I think it tastes very sweet and it reminded me of Mountain Dew from what I do remember. So I think if you just want something very, very sweet, I think it would be more of a in-between of Mountain Dew and like a Sierra Mist um, or Sprite. And I really liked it. When you really want something sweet, there you go. The cola one is good. I personally was a Diet Coke person. I mean, I still kind of am. I just try to cut it back. But uh, so this is really trying to mimic more of regular cola. Although I kind of get like a sense of regular cola from it as well as diet. It almost tastes like a blend of both. I like it. I really do. They also, I don't think I have it in this empties, but they also have a uh, cherry cola one. Delicious. And then there's a black cherry flavored one too. Really, really good. I mean, I don't think there's really a black cherry soda out there that it's trying to mimic that I can think of, like a brand name one, but we really like this. Very, very good. Another item I finished up is the Amy's Soup. It is the no chicken noodle soup. It's a low fat option. I will say, I think the nutrition on it is not bad at all. It's two servings and 100 calories per serving. So I mean, even if you ate the whole thing, it's 200 calories. It's not terrible for canned soup. And I will say though, did it taste like chicken noodle soup? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it's not like it was terrible, but it's not like it was great either. Um, I personally probably would not purchase it again, but if I did have it again, I could eat it, you know? It just didn't really hit the spot. When I was sick this last week, this is one of the items I had, and it just wasn't, it was kind of a letdown, but it wasn't like it was terrible. <laughs> I don't know, let me know if you've had this before and what you think of it. I will say the sodium on it is pretty high, 680 milligrams, and if you eat both servings, then you double that too. That's the thing with most canned items though is, the sodium it's always so high but again when you're sick and you want that alternative there you go next item we finished up is this organic reduced sugar raspberry preserves from Trader Joe's so I got this for Nate primarily and I've showed you in my last what I eat in a day as well as just mentioning it in vlogs and hauls this is what we've been using and we've been mixing it with tahini lemon juice and a little bit of water to thin it out and that has been like Nate's go-to dressing. He loves it. So we already went through one of these. We're almost out of another one. And what's cool about it, since we do try to watch our sugar a little bit, it is the reduced sugar. So it's not sugar-free, but it is reduced. And it's like half of what typical jams and preserves and stuff have. And it has six grams in it. And that's for one tablespoon. And that's about what we use when I make the dressing, maybe a little bit more, but he really likes it and it's just so, so simple to make. Finished up an eggplant hummus from Trader Joe's and I also have this already back up in the fridge. I really, really like this a lot, but what I also love about it, and I think I mentioned this in our last haul when I did repurchase it, there's no oil in this. One of you guys told me that and I'm like, that's a good point because a lot of hummuses, especially like your more typical name brand ones have a lot of oil added to them and so you're taking something that's like a healthy snack you think you're being good and there's a lot of added oil and before you know it you've kind of like got the same effect as if you were eating ranch dressing <laughs> you know what I mean so I really like that this is a oil free alternative plus it tastes really really good pretty sure I've talked about this in the past but we just love it we really do the tofuti sour cream so so good we don't use it often but sometimes when we make like burrito bowls or something like that or tacos then a little bit of sour cream on top this Mm, so good we think it's better than the real thing now that we've had obviously both before we love this it's 
so good. Next item that I have already repurchased is the vegan spread and dressing, basically like veganaise, vegan mayo. This is really, really good, guys. This one is from Trader Joe's, and we use this to make different dressings as well, and really impressed with it. And I feel like most people actually prefer vegan mayo over regular mayo, too. It actually has, I think, more of a sweetness to it. Now, me personally, I'm not a huge mayo person to begin with, but I do know like sometimes certain recipes just call for it. And I will say I have made some good like ranch dressings with this and that's been nice and I like it. I only repurchase. I just thought I would include this. I mean it is vegan but it is uh, the Seattle's Best Coffee Toasted Hazelnut Coffee and it's just ground coffee and we've been using that in our French press. It's just really really good. Got this from Walmart I believe and uh, it's really yummy. I love hazelnut coffee. If you make your own coffee at home Oh, what is like your favorite blend of coffee? Mine is normal, like regular coffee or a like flavored one and I always go to hazelnut. I finished up a coconut aminos teriyaki sauce. So this is a little bit different than the original coconut aminos, but that's like the base of this one, but it is still like a flavored one. Definitely a lot sweeter when you get the teriyaki sauce one. I will say the sodium on it is 280 milligrams, so it is a little bit higher in sodium still than regular coconut aminos, but still not nearly as high as most traditional soy sauce or teriyaki sauces. I love coconut aminos. I just think it's such a great alternative out there. I will say Nate's not the biggest fan of it. He doesn't think it has enough flavor. I don't know. He used to like it, but lately he hasn't been going to it, but I like it. So let me know what you guys think about coconut aminos. Most people, I think, love it. Um, I've had a few people ask me before, like, what is the benefit of doing this? over a real soy sauce and a couple things. Basically one, it's not soy, so if you are allergic to soy or you try to not eat a lot of soy, there's your alternative. And as well as the sodium content is like far, far less. So again, that's another reason people go to this. And it's also gluten-free. So a lot of people look at that too. But yeah, I really like it. I will say, to me, they're a little pricey. I get this at uh, Sprouts, and I want to say these are like 7 to $8 per thing, and it doesn't take long to get through them, <laughs> but they are good. I like them. Finished up a big bag, finally, of quinoa. We got this at Costco a long time ago. It's the True Roots brand, and this is just the like plain colored uh, quinoa. It's not like a blended one. We like it. We think it's good. Quinoa has kind of grown on us. It was not something we loved from the beginning, but now we really like it. And it's really good with a salad, like make a salad however you would, and put a little bit of quinoa on it and a little bit of cold sweet potato. It's so good. It really is the weirdest blend, but it really is delicious. So I would definitely get this again. Um, although I kind of want to try and like a, the tri-color quinoa just because I haven't before. But, and like I said, this was just the like plain color, but you can't beat the price from Costco and the amount you get. Okay, last two items. We finished up a roasted garlic classico marinara sauce. This was just something we had one night for just like a spaghetti night, kind of a cheat night, if you will. And not that this is not vegan, but just, you know, again, these types of things tend to have higher sodium. And this one's 350 milligrams per serving. There's five servings in this jar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Nate and I ate all this together in one serving, but anyway. <laughs> but it was really good. It has a lot of flavor in it, so I definitely get this again for those cheat nights. And last item I want to share with you guys is the Go Veggie Cheesy Bliss is what it's called, and it is vegan. Hopefully you guys can see that there. And it is a Parmesan cheese, like grated Parmesan for pasta. I'm pretty sure he actually finished this up that night. We had spaghetti, and you know what? I can't lie. I did not eat this because the smell of it was like so, so strong in a not good way to me. However, so is Parmesan cheese. But I do love Parmesan cheese, but it does have a very, very strong smell. It really does. <laughs> and Nate loved it though. He did. But there, <laughs> I remember every time he would use this, whether he put it on pasta or a salad or whatever, Oh my God, I would just smell it and I'm like, ugh, but he said it was really good. <laughs> so I will say 
I bet it was because the smell had that similar Parmesan smell, but it has a strong smell, so it's not like the most appealing thing. <laughs> does that make sense? I don't know. But it does have 100% more calcium, 30% less fat, no cholesterol, lactose or gluten, non-GMO, and it is vegan. So, you know, two tablespoons is 20 calories, so I mean, there's really not much to it at all. It's soy base and flour, coconut oil, vegan flavors, whatever that means. Yeah, I think we got this at Sprouts or Whole Foods, I believe. That is it, we did it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And like I said, I'm just gonna heal up. Officially, I'm definitely doing better. Today is definitely the best day so far. And just gonna get well and be ready to go for next week. I definitely wanna do some more cooking videos. I feel like the last couple weeks I have not done those need to get back into it but please leave below any video requests you guys have to I love hearing back from you guys what you want to see and don't feel like if I don't get them up right away that they're not in the works because I have had some requests from you guys and I love planning those out and they have not gone forgotten I'm just figuring out when I can do them but yeah anyway I hope you guys have a great great weekend thank you so so much for all your support and love always it means a lot to me I really really appreciate it and I will see you soon.